What up, y'all? I guess um, Brian Ortega versus Alexander Volkanovski is going to be Volkanovski is going to be off for UFC 260 because supposedly Volkanovski's got the um, coronavirus um, 19 COVID 19 protocols, or he tested positive for it and has it. So the Brian Ortega Volkanovski fight will not be going down at the 260. Some people just said, "Could we see Holloway?" I don't know. I want mine to see Holloway. Who do y'all think they're going to replace the Volkanovski um, Ortega fight? Also, who did y'all think was going to win? Volkanovski is a relatively new lightweight champion of the world after he beat Max Holloway. Um, I was looking forward to the fight. You know, he's definitely he was. They say his background is like a rugby background, so you know he has a pretty short stature. And um, he's really compact and explosive, so we got to see him demonstrate that against Holloway. You know, and that's how he definitely won the fight. Um, so it was going to be interesting to see how he did against um, Ortega, um, considering Ortega had, like, a different skill set, was a little bit more dynamic, had a little more things in his arsenal. Um, I wouldn't say more things in his arsenal, just looks like he had a different type of chance. But um, I don't know. I don't see Volkanovski being the champion forever. Someone's definitely going to clear either one of those guys out. Just wanted to touch on this topic real quick. Another quick point I want to make about Ortega is that I didn't hear too much about Ortega until recently, but um, he doesn't look like the craziest of opponents to be facing, even though he did great in his last match. But I really wasn't 100% like fully impressed. His, his last match was actually slightly impressive, but that's about it. Nothing too crazy. Um, to tilt, you know, saying the tide of the sport, you know, we'll just have to see what, you know, UFC brings us when it comes to these guys. Um, let me know what y'all think.